Hi, uh, my name is Pete and I am going to show you how to play One Day Without You by John Martin. Now those of you that have followed my channel for a while will know that I'm quite a fan of John Martin and his finger picking style, particularly the stuff he did in the 70s. I've already done a few covers and tutorials of his other songs on my channel if you want to check those out. I did a cover for this a little while back and I've finally got some time to get round to doing the tutorial for this song. In fact, I've got a little bit of time for the next couple of weeks and I'm really hoping to crack through a few more covers and tutorials and hopefully um, one, or two, um, one or two things you've not seen before. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's crack on with this. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so you get a, a better view of the guitar and what's going on on the fretboard here. You might, you might lose you might lose my lovely face off the um, <laughs> off the screen, but that might not be a bad thing. So first of all, the tuning for this song, and if you get yourself your chromatic tuner or a tuning app on your phone, basically the guitar is tuned down two full steps, and this has the effect of making it sound just like standard tuning, but lower. So the the sixth string is tuned to a C, and that's C two. Fifth string is tuned to F, F2. The fourth string is tuned to A sharp or B flat, and that's A sharp 2. Third string is D sharp, D sharp 3. Second string is a G, G3. And the first string is a C, and that's C4. So you'll know you've got it right if all of your All of your normal chord shapes sound right when you strum them so right this song has three sections really it's got the introduction section it's got the verse section and it has the chorus section and once you've learned those three it's just a case of linking together the intro and then cycling through verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus until you finish the song all right let's get straight into it then so start with your index finger on the first fret covering strings four three and two and I'm going to pluck the 5th, 4th and 3rd string and slide into that 2nd fret position from 1st fret to 2nd fret like that. And then at the end of that very first bar, just before we really get into the introduction, pluck those two again, those three, and then there's a thumb slap straight away on the 2nd bar. Slap, pluck strings 4 and 3 together, and then as you do your 2nd thumb slap, you're also going to hammer with your ring finger onto the 4th fret on the 4th string. So you've got... Like that. And then, as you go through the rest of the 2nd bar, it's open 5th string. Slide your ring finger onto the 5th fret 4th string and pluck 4 and 3 together. Middle finger, 4th fret 4th string. 4 and 3 together. Slap and then you're ready to slide into the second fret position again but instead of using your index finger at the end of the first bar I'm going to slide in using my index and ring finger like that for what's going to happen in the third bar so let's just do those first two bars again you've got that sustain note then you've got 5, 4 and 3 slap 4 and 3 slap with the hammer onto the fourth fret And then five, four and three, four and three, slap, slide just to finish that first, that last note of the second bar. And then as you go into the third bar, just after you've done that, there's a slap at the start of the bar, pluck four and three again, but take your index finger off because what's about to happen now is that index finger is going to hammer on and off the first fret on the fourth string. So we've just had slap. That's a hammer on and a pull off there as you do the thumb slap. So, and then I'm going to drop my ring finger onto the third string, uh, sorry, fifth string, third fret, and pluck. 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string open, 
third string open, slap to finish the third bar. Let's just do those first three bars then. Let's do it one more time. Slap, pair, slap and hammer, five, four and three, four and three, slap, second fret with two fingers, four and three again, hammer and pull off, five, four, three, slap. And then you're going to do basically exactly the same again. Instead of doing five four three, you're going to do five four four. So let's do that introduction slowly all the way through now. There's that sustain note. Slide slap four and three slap four at fifth string four and three four and three slap. Repeat that. And then we're into the, the verse section. And this is bar number six. So this is the, the bit where John starts singing One Day Without You. So I've slid into that that familiar second fret position again and I pluck three and four again together slap and hammer so like a bass player would play like bass guitar slap and hammer onto the fourth string fourth fret and then pluck open four open fifth and then I'm going to pluck three and four together still with my fourth fret fourth string held down and then take that ring finger off and slap again just before you do the slide into the chord shape again going into the seventh bar this time I'm plucking five four three and two using my ring finger on my right hand now still all of those are held down just with the index finger barring on strings four three and two so five four and three and two then just four and three, two together. And now when I do the slap, I'm hammering on ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret, and middle finger, second string, third fret there. So I've got like that. So that thumb is, is really hitting all the strings from two, three, four, five, down like that, like that. So five, four and three and two, four and three and two, slap and hammer, and then open fifth string, and now I'm going to pluck four, three and two, twice, and notice my left hand hasn't changed since I did that first slap and hammer. And now, as I come out of that seventh bar into the eighth bar, lift your index finger off, and then place your index finger onto the fifth string second fret. So you've now got basically what's a broken B minor chord shape, like that. So as I come out the seventh bar, I play that five, four, and three, and two, and then four and three and two. So five, four, three, two, four, three, two, slap. Keep the left hand shape, five, four, three, slap. Five, two and three, four, slap, five, one and two, three, slap. And then you're going to repeat that section. So let's do that slowly. Just 
as you finish that verse, there's an open fourth string played just on the end of the second repeat, bar 10. So you've got, and I can see just how cold my life could be. There, and then you've got to come up to the seventh fret. Now the shape is basically, starting at the seventh fret, it's the same shape you had at the second fret. But slide, keep those, that hand shape relative and move it all up to the seventh fret. So you've got, except we're going to add our little finger, third string, ninth fret. So you've now got, now that, that little passing note at the end of the tenth bar, second repeat, that's to give you enough time for, to get from this shape to here. And you've really got to drop onto that. So what I suggest you practice doing is, is don't even use your right hand. Just work out where your fingers are going to go. Index, fifth string, seventh fret. Ring and little finger, strings four and three, ninth fret. And middle finger is going on the eighth fret, second string. See if you can just hammer all those strings on and, and get that, that chord shape from there to there. Okay, from there to there. So, chorus shape now, and we're on the 11th, the 11th bar. So I've got that chorus shape held down that we talked about, and I'm plucking 5th string, 4 and 3 together, slap, 5, 4, 3 and 2 as a pair, slap, 5, 1, 2, slap, 5, 2, 3, slap. And that's the bit where John's singing, You know I'd like to keep you Again, just at the end of those two bars, end of the twelfth bar, there's an open four string. And again, that's just to give you time to get down to the second fret, where you're barring strings four, three, and two on the second fret. And this is into the thirteenth bar. I'm plucking like that. So five, four, three, two, four, three, and two. And then we've got a slap with the hammer on of those two fingers again. That's middle onto the third string, second fret, and ring finger onto the fourth string, fourth fret. So, and then pluck open five, and then four, three, and two together. Take off the hammered fingers, leave the index. So you're barring at the second, and pluck all those three, four, three, and two again. So you've got. That's it. This is the thirteenth bar. All, all four, five, four, three, and two, four and three, two. Slap with the hammer on. Open five, four, three, two. Take off the hammered fingers. Slap and then do the same again with that slightly syncopated delay there. This time, don't take the hammered fingers off on the second pluck. So bars thirteen and fourteen, we've got. Keep you to myself and keep you by my side And then just as you finish that 14th bar I plucked all three open and again that's just to give me that transition to get up to the the uh, seventh fret again that seventh fret position So again um, five four and three two slap Five, four, three, and two as a pair. Slap. Five, one, two. Slap. Five, two, three. Slap. Open fourth. Again to get down for the next bit. So that's. Um, you know I love to keep you, baby. Just like I know it's wrong to try. This is bars 17 and 18. It's the same as bar 14, my bad. But just at the end of bar 17, just like I know it's 
wrong. And this is this is the same chord shape we used in bar eight. So this is where I've I've taken the index finger barring off and then plonked it on the fifth string, second fret. And it's five, four, three, and two. And then, and then again, slap, five, one and two as a pair, three, slap, and then again that passing four string open. And then you do that shape again, that same cycle again. Just like my babies who were born a cry. Passing note again, same cycle again. Every bird that sings, stay in the shape. Every bird that sings is born a fly. So bars 24 and 25 is a good pair of bars to practice to cycle around because that's used just as a, a little transition pause before you go back into the next verse. So from bar 21 again. Every bird that sings is born a fly. This is 24, 25. So this is good practice for making that transition from the bar on the second fret to placing your index finger on the fifth string second fret there. It also gives you a chance to try and get your right hand onto autopilot for this. And then you're back round for another verse. Okay, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. When he finishes the song, the, the bars 24 and 25 that I, I got you to cycle through, that's the bit where he's, he's just kind of ad-libbing with the words a little bit, really. I wanna fly, I wanna fly. When you're ready to finish that, as you've come out of that, that shape for the last time, just bar, and I think I played that um, third string, second fret, second string, second fret, and you've got to stretch your little finger up to the first string, fifth fret, like that. Give you a nice, a nice kind of um, A major finish except it's F major because we're two turns down hmm. all right I think that just about covers it without spending an absolute age on it it's, it's not that complicated a song once you get the the right hand pattern going and and because of the way that John Martin wrote songs and played and there's, there's not a huge amount of fiddly stuff going on with the left hand it doesn't really matter if you get the order of some of the picking in between the slaps slightly slightly wrong so if, if I show you what I mean here on this bit. Um, you, you can mix it up a bit in between as long as you've got that, those bass notes. And that, that's the great thing about it. That's, that's part of the, the beauty of the John Martin songs is, is it doesn't matter if you're a little bit clumsy and you mix it up in between because the chord shape's still held down and it just gives a, a uniqueness to the way you play the song uh, each time. Sounds like a good excuse for a few wrong notes. But anyway, um, okay, what I've got coming next, I've got, like I said, I've got some more covers, some more tutorials. I've got a bit of time in this next couple of weeks, like I said, so hopefully it won't be quite such a big break between between videos so please keep supporting my channel stick with me the subscribers have now clocked over 1500 which is fantastic i never expected to get more than 20 when i first started out with this and this has become like i say quite the productive hobby 
So if you've got any song suggestions, let me know. I've got a, a Canadian artist called Cult of War that somebody suggested and a, a song of his called Sleeping on the Blacktop that I think is going to be the next thing I look at, as well as trying to finish off my little collection of John Martin tutorials. So um, I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, have a good Christmas. Bye.